So this is the image that I uh, found that I wanted to start the painting with. It's a still from uh, Corey's uh, video called Assassin's Paradox. And I really like the way that, you, as you can see, the lights on the left hand side of his face. Um, it's quite dramatic as well and, and he's kind of looking off into the distance. So it's uh, I thought it was a pretty good image to start with. And then I thought, because I, I want to put concepts to these paintings, I don't want it just to be a copy because it's not interesting being copied over again, like if I want to bring something new to it. So I then started to look at um, Left 4 Dead because I know Corey really likes Left 4 Dead and I really like the art on this uh, this poster, I think. Just the brush strokes that, that you can see and the lines and the lighting as well is amazing, the way you have uh, the, the figures are silhouetted by light as well coming from behind them. I think it's a really powerful image. So I then did a bit of work on Photoshop and this is what I came up with. And um, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna, the detail that I'm going to put into it is, is going to be when I paint it. So this is just kind of a guideline um, of like where, you know, where he is on the page and all that kind of stuff. So I added um, an, a stroke to the outer left hand side of his face because that's the way um, the light is going to affect his face because it's from behind. Um, I also added some zombies in the background just just in case you didn't get it was Left 4 Dead, you know. It's a bit of a giveaway now. And then also, zoom in, can you zoom in? Yeah, you can. Uh, this splatter is from the Left, Left 4 Dead logo. And then I added his logo into it, so it's kind of a bit of a collaboration. But yeah, so that's it right now. So I've been getting really into this painting and forgetting to do updates. So, if you're wondering why I'm quiet, it's because it's really late at night, but I wanted to do this before I forgot. I went through a stage of wanting to throw this away, <laughs> and then I got the eyes done and I was a lot more happy with it, so need to finish off the skin, especially down here. I've never painted a beard before, I don't think, so... That's going to be interesting. So it's day two and I'm working on the t-shirt now. The face is pretty much finished although I'm not entirely sure whether I'm happy with the eyes but I might add a bit more shadow to them I'm not sure. The beard was kind of quite nerve-wracking because obviously I did the skin first and the colour of the beard is kind of like a bluish green. It's weird. Um, but obviously that's what the lighting is like in um, the painting, so it's got, everything's going to look a, lot, a little bit bluer. But yeah, so putting that on the skin I was really nerve-wracking because I was thinking, oh god, am I ruining it? But actually I'm happy with the way it turned out because I've never really done stubble before, so I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, just I'm um, working on the t-shirt now. It's going to be pretty simple because it's like a bluish black and I just need to add like highlight in certain places like here and on the shoulder and probably like there as well but yeah and then I'm gonna start the background and I think I'll probably be finished today I'm quite surprised at how quickly I've done it but I'm quite happy with it so yay I've done the background I think I'm pretty much done with that and um, all that's left to do is the Left 4 Dead splatter with Corey's logo in it and I'm going to do a border as well because there's a um, in the Left 4 Dead poster image there is a border like it's like a cream it looks like a like there's torn edges on a pa on a piece of paper so that's what I'm going to do and then I'm done um, obviously I can still do some more details if I look back at it once I finish and you know if there needs anything needs to be done then it'll be done I just realised I've been a bit of an idiot. Um, you know how I was saying I colour corrected uh, the original image? I didn't realise that when I colour corrected it, Corey's eyes were blue and they're actually kind of a brownie green. Okay, that was easier than I thought.
they look normal now and you know what in a in the early video I said I didn't think his eyes were right and I was thinking shading wise and <laughs> now I realise that actually it was probably because they weren't the right colour that was clever but yeah I'm glad that I've got that done so I'm going to have to re-render the speed painting video and add an extra clip in to explain the fact that the eyes have changed <laughs> so it's done now, it's just drying you can probably hear the heater behind me which I'm drying it next to um, yeah it's still a bit tacky so it probably needs like another couple of days I think which is frustrating because I really want to send it off now but yeah so it's done and I'm glad. Yay.